Hi friends, welcome to this video. So we are learning a webform concepts in a Drupal 10 version. So till now we have covered the topics from the section 1 to till section 6. So here what and all is tick marked. So those all topics we have covered in our previous video. So in this video we will see the section 7 topic that is how to create a list of options. So just let's see how to do this. So before that just let me open a Drupal site. So here you can see I have already opened a Drupal website with the admin access. I will just open a web form, just click on a structure, scroll down and just click on a web forms. So here you can see options uh, tab is there, right? So just open it in a new tab. Before that, just let me show you this inquiry web form. So just click on it so that you will just land up into a front end view for that inquiry web form. So this is our inquiry web form. So here you can see one uh, element we have just been created here that is preferred contact option where it just shows a drop down, right? So here this inquiry web form, in this in inquiry web form we have this uh, element, right? So what if I just want this in one, If what if I just want this element in one more form? So in, you know, in one of the feedback form, I just want to use this element. So in that uh, scenario, I just again need to create this email, phone number, section, right? This element again, I need to create it. So instead of that in Drupal web forms, we have one option so called as a options listing. Here you can see it, right? So by using this options list, we can just use uh, those elements in a multiple forms instead of creating it from a scratch. So that I will just show you here. So here you can see these are the uh, default options which we have it with the labels. You can just find it out from here. Days, months, time zone. So you can see all the kind of uh, options for under this labels. So this everything is a uh, default one if we want we can just create our custom option as well so i will just click on this add option so let's add our one new option here so i will just give a label as a company name and this category this uh, data and time demographic so if you want we can just give it but as of now i will just ignore it this is not a mandatory and here we let's give a option value for the company name so add few companies here so I will just add it, HCL, TCS, Cognizant. If you want, you can add more here by just clicking on this plus icon or uh, you can just add it from here as well by just giving account and just click on add. So here you can see one more is just uh, got added. And if you want to just remove that particular, so you can just click on this minus. So just let me add two more companies here. Yeah, so I have added few companies here. So I will just click on save. So here you can see the options company name is just got saved, right? So now what I will do is that I will just go to my build section. I will just open in a new tab. And here you can see uh, like under company details, we have only company address, right? So I want to add that company name option under the second company details page. Okay. So for that, what I will do is I will just add an element here and uh, I will just select the select element here. I'll just click on add element on the select. So here you can see it's asking the title for it. So I will just give a title as select company name and here it's asking the input field. So I will just select only one input field is enough for this and here we have a option value, right? So instead of giving a option value here, what we can do is we can just select from this custom option. So just uh, click on this drop down and here you will find our created options name so that is a company name just now we have created it right so just click on it and just save it so just let's reload our form here i have saved there so in order to check that that field is available in the company details right so let me just fill up this so I will just give it as name, email ID, so 
so here company name is coming up in the first page right so let's see that filled um setting up so here you can see this i need to drag a right side so then only it will be considered as a this two fields will come under company details right so now i will just save it just let's reload this form once again now let me fill up i will just give a name email id in at gmail.com and I will just click on next okay message filled I haven't filled it right so I will just give it as a test in the message and here you can see the company details so this address uh, we have already given this field and this field which we just now have added right select a company name so if you just click uh, on this drop down you can see that our uh, options which we have added under the company names hcl tcs cognizant pipro hp so like this you can use that created custom options anywhere in any of the forms so this is the use of the options so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video then please subscribe this channel See you soon in the next video. Thank you.